Predictive programming suggests how the Nephilim reappears after the flood. Hello friends. With all the recent commotion on the news about the alien agenda, I believe predictive programming is behind the upcoming events created by the narcissistic establishment. First, let's revise what predictive programming is and why narcissists use it to gaslight and to deceive their supplies. Predictive programming is a tool to hide and to desensitize the public before the atrocities take place. When the events occur, the public has softened up and therefore passively accepts it rather than offering resistance or opposition. Things or ideas which would otherwise be seen as bizarre, vulgar, undesirable or impossible are inserted into films in the realm of fantasy. When the viewer watches these films, his or her mind is left open to suggestion and the conditioning process begins. Second, let's address narcissists using predictive programming to disconnect the truth about Noah's Ark and to brainwash people with learned helplessness in order to disconnect people from the God of the Bible. Narcissists come from the Nephilim's bloodline and with the flood, they were supposed to have been eradicated from Earth. However, it seems that they've managed to sneak in Noah's Ark and have survived the flood. When you consider the first alien movie, the creatures needed a human host to produce offspring. The establishment emulates the scenario about the fallen angels and the daughters of men. Ripley, the character in the movie, was supposed to have eliminated the creature. Later in the second Aliens movie, Ripley is sent back to the same planet from the first movie to help destroy the creature. Despite all the human efforts to completely destroy the alien, it is resurrected in the third Alien Resurrection movie. The explanation that the creature had survived is based upon the idea that a creature's egg was purposely placed on board the rescue ship named Solico to use the humans on board for its offspring. The Solico, a ship controlled by one artificial intelligence unit, is subliminally presented as the Noah's Ark where people will be rescued from the impending catastrophe which is the return of the Nephilim. Nowadays we can observe intense news media coverage about UFO sightings and alien life. The way I see, the narcissistic establishment is preparing an event to justify the return of their family of origin, the Nephilim and their father, Satan, the first narcissist. That is the reason they have been planning for this a long time ago, because they know the truth about Jesus, and that Jesus will bring judgment upon narcissists, and the destruction they have caused on life on this planet. The only thing these creatures can do, pretending they can avoid the unavoidable upcoming judgment, is to try to remove God and His Son, Jesus, from people's perspective, using predictive programming. I'm including scripture passages from the Bible, and from the Book of Enoch, for you to study them. We're about to witness major events taking place very soon. Some will be creations by the narcissistic establishment, and others will be divine sins by the loving God of the Bible. If you haven't accepted Jesus in your life as Lord and Savior, please take this moment to read the salvation prayer in the description of this video. May the grace of God protect you and inspire you with discernment and love of the truth. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. God bless you. Please, remember, truth is freedom.